Hey everybody, welcome back to Castle Stories. So this video is basically just gonna be me on the map I made, showing what should have happened during the multiplayer series versus Luke. Uh, first, I guess let's talk about that and everything that went wrong. Well, first thing, and it's obvious, the game can't handle <laughs> that many Bricktrons at all. Um, you saw the more and more Bricktrons I got, the more and more it lagged, and it wasn't my computer. Lowering the graphics wouldn't have fixed that. That was completely the game, not me at all. Which was really weird because you could have a bunch of Bricktrons and then have a bunch of Corruptrons attacking you like I'm gonna show in this, and everything's fine. So it's kind of weird how like I had like 20 Bricktrons, Luke had like 20 Bricktrons and that just killed everything. Like everything imploded. It was awful. Um, so that's the first problem. The second problem is I really don't think walls make that much of a difference in multiplayer. Um, what I was doing was I had, do I have insta build on? I should have insta build on. I do not. What I, my initial plan was to just cover my front wall with um, the um, Sentinel Wards, which would have been cool. But then when I saw how many more Bricktrons I had than Luke, I'm like, okay, now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna focus on building my army up because I'm gonna step on him. And I never expected him to attack me with his numbers because he only had half the uh, crystals lit up that I had. But that's what he did. He just focused on, that's not what I wanted. He focused on building units right from the start. So I focused on those defenses and then I switched, which killed me. Um, and even though I was able to hold off his first attack just because I had so many guys, um, that's what really, I probably would have lost that if we kept going. Um, but yeah, it's just, castles don't really do much. You just, when it comes to multiplayer and conquest in this game, you just need to focus on, if you focus on just nothing but building up army units and then attacking, you're going to win. No walls can stop that. And uh, I think that's the last series pretty much just showed that. Um, but yeah, those were, the, those were the big things about what, uh, what went wrong. Um, right now what I'm going to do is just show you what happens if, uh, if I had completed what I wanted to complete. It would have looked a little bit like this. And then we're going to blow up some walls, and then it's pretty much just going to be destroying the map and having fun doing it. So that's what uh, is going to happen here. Now, people wanted me to put this on the workshop, this map, and I will probably at some point. Um, problem now is, uh, since there's so many crystals on the map, it doesn't load in World Editor anymore. So I need to go into the game files, delete all the crystals, and then um, load it back up, plant the crystals again, and then uh, upload it to the Steam Workshop. Workshop. Also, what I'm thinking about doing is making a single player version of the map. And oh, I don't want those up there, did I? Eh, who cares? Um, the single player version of the map, which would be. Let's see. It would still look the same. I'll probably destroy this a little bit. Um, destroy. I'd get rid of all the resources back here because this part's just going to be pointless. Um, but there'll be a Corruptron spawn in here or around here somewhere and over on these sides. And it'll pretty much just be half the map. And uh, that might be a pretty fun um, survival, so I'm going to do that, and we'll see how that works. Alright, we're almost done here, and I wanted Sentinels up here. This would have this been my original plan, um, if I didn't think, uh, or if I thought Luke was going to have enough guys, which I didn't think he was going to have enough guys, but it didn't really matter. He killed me anyway. Okay, so there we go, and this is what it would have looked like if he tried to attack me. Hold on, we're going to need you. Actually, no, we don't even need you. You can stay over there. I don't even care. We put you right there. Boom. Gerd. Stay there, Gerd. Actually, no, stay there, Gerd. You'll be bait. So let's just say... Bricktrons are probably about the Corruptrons, right? Not Minitron. Let's just get a bunch of these guys around here. So this is Luke's army. Coming to attack. That's what would have happened. Had I stuck with my original plan. Even still, they're running up. If I had a few knights out here blocking. Just like Gerd was doing right there. We would have been alright. What's nice is these things can kind of hit on an angle. Unlike troops. Like if your troops get up here. There's really not much the wall can do. Look, see now they're attacking. They're getting in. Oh no, we're dead. But yeah, it would have been much better if I had uh, more troops. Did guys get stuck down there. No, okay. What even is that? That is a glitched out texture block. Cool. So what's going to happen when they break in? Let's find out. We're actually going to see some destruction here. 
See, that's the thing. See, look, they're breaking everything. They're not even running in for my crystal. That's why I don't understand, like, what the how they work now. Like, they're just causing damage. They're not even going for the crystal. Look, he's gonna die. They're destroying non-essential things, too. See, some of them are punching the walls a little bit. I like how these guys are just camped out over here. And I like how confused the sentinels are. <laughs> Come on, hurry it up. Wait, I can speed time up. That's what's nice about this. I can time warp. Oh, see, now they're digging in a little bit. Doesn't really matter, though, because, uh... I wonder if these things will hit them from this side. I don't know if they will or not. Oh, they're shooting out under the stairs at them attacking the door. See, they could easily just run up the stairs and run down, but they're not that smart anymore. They're smarter, but not smart. See, they're smart enough to keep on running towards here. But, see, then they do this stuff, so they're not smart. I don't know. It's the, it's the strangest thing. I do not understand how these things work anymore. They're just breaking stuff. They're literally just breaking stuff. They aren't even going for my crystal. I don't know if that's a benefit, because it means you can, like, get yourself together and then go in. But, uh... <laughs> for this purpose, like, what are they doing? Why are you doing it? Go for the crystal, you idiots! This is gonna be crazy when this falls. I can't speed up any quicker. Nope. Times two or nothing. Let's see what happens when this one falls. Actually, if he jumps to this one, it'll be a disaster. Oh, see, now they run up here to attack these things that are attacking them. You know, I just might, uh, put more dudes here. See, now he's attacking a different one! He's such a clown! Alright, let's get a Bitron. Or a Biftron, is that what they're called? See, look how quickly if all of them focus on one thing, it just melts it. Melts the dude. How about four of them? Yeah, four of them's a little more challenging, isn't it? Oh, they're actually coming up here and attacking the things now. See, that's surprising, but these other little idiots aren't. They destroyed the one. See, now they're dead. And now that guy's gonna end up dead. Oh, they can't aim at it. Oh, there's another Biftron. Are they overheated? There they go. So we lost a few, but look at this guy. He's just standing here. I don't even know how single player would work with this map now. <laughs> Seems like they're a little broken. Just a little bit, though. I am going to try making it, though. See what happens. Um, there's also a new game mode out uh, for Halloween that I don't know if I'm going to play. It's called, like, Capture the Pumpkin. Like, you need to capture pumpkins. Ten more. You have to capture ten pumpkins, and so does your uh, enemy. And whoever captures ten first wins. Okay. So now that I've successfully destroyed this, you know what, let's just go all in. Let's just see what might happen if I do a survival series here. Let's get some dudes up here. It's a little late for dudes up there, though. Let's just get a bunch of knights and halberdiers. There we go. See, uh, you know, look at this. Even with all this, look. It's still laggy. It's 20, it's the, uh, it's still, it's not as bad, though. Look at this. It's so much better. Oh, yeah, they're all dressed up for Halloween now. Now I want to look at all their Halloween costumes. See, look at what's happening right now. I have 20 guys still. There's a bunch of guys attacking. And the lag isn't nearly as bad as it was in multiplayer. It's nowhere near. I have like one frame tops in multiplayer. And look at this. That's insane. I can't believe the difference. This is the difference of frame. There was more going on here than there was in that multiplayer series. And it's fine here. Well, not completely fine, but way better. It's it's playable. What we were dealing with was not playable. They're just taking down my wall. Now we'll probably never hit a wave that crazy in single player, but uh, that was kind of cool. Oh no, Bobo! So they're just destroying everything now. Once again, they're being weird. See, now we're getting really bad lag. I don't know if it's because I have the time jump in here. I don't understand how the game works. Okay, I understand that uh, all of that might cause some lag, so... Yeah, there we go, that's better. A little bit better. <laughs> I'm trying, okay, I'm trying. The only issue is how am I gonna kill all these things? Because I wanna also attack the other fort, blow it up a little bit, see what happens. And I wanna blow up the other castle, too. But <laughs> the guy just made that other guy fall. Way to go, team. I think he made himself fall. Look at that. Down he goes. You know what I could do? See, now they're coming to attack the crystal. You know what I say? 
Not on this day. Fight. Oh yeah, I didn't see that one coming, did you, Biftron? Oh, those, look at all those archers. They all focus fire, they can kill everything in one shot. Uh-oh. Biftrons. Take them down. I don't know what happens if they destroy my crystal. <laughs> I kind of don't want to find out. I don't want to have to reload. The only issue is I can't get rid of these guys. I have to make them all jump off the cliff and they'll still spawn back in. There's no way to get rid of brick drones. Ah. I don't know if flying away from the map would help either. You know what would have been easier than spawning in a million guys? It would have been using explosives. Build structures. Here we go. So look, they are just going to town on this wall. They don't even, they really don't even care. So you guys want to blow up the wall? Huh? You want to blow up the wall? I'll help. I'll help you blow up the wall. Let's see if I can crash the game. I've done some pretty crazy things like this in the past before. Haven't crashed anything. So, um... Or it just... It did eventually crash. But I can do a lot here. Alright, let's see how well, well this works. We'll have like zero frames for probably like 30 seconds, but... It might be interesting. Shoot at. Go, Bim! You know what? I want... I want the majority of you guys up here. So, uh... In order to clear up some of these Bricktrons. No, all of you. Just all of you get over here. Get... Oh, no. It exploded! <laughs> and now we play the waiting game. Alright, how are you all doing tonight? Uh, I hope you're doing alright. Um, we just have a few seconds of, uh... Nothing happening. Oh, look, things are changing. Kablamo! This is what I wanted in my map. Maybe not this extreme, but... That was kind of cool. Look at all the wood. Sad part is these guys didn't get blown up. So I think they cleared off all the ones on the wall, but now we have all these other ones, and just all these uh, fragments of wood are causing so much lag. I can get rid of them right now. I think we got the point. Look how far some of those bricks went. All right, let's just get rid of those. There we go, much better. That was kind of cool. Okay, kill the Bricktrons, or Corruptrons, just kill everything. There's so many of these big guys over here. Oh, there they go. Oh, the worst part is they spawn more dudes. Anyway, you guys keep doing that over here. We're going to go over here now and uh, see what we can create over on this side. So, say you were smart and um, you were clever about where you were putting your catapult and you put one on the bridge so they couldn't see the dirt spawning in. One catapult? Yeah, sure, we'll go one catapult. Catapults are expensive. All right, that should be able to reach. Uh, we're going to need some... Exp I clicked out of the game. Yay! Wow, it didn't crash fraps. Look at that. I am going to restart just to make sure everything's fine. All right, wow. I'm happy. I think they, with the newest update, they fixed that problem. So now when I minimize, fraps won't uh, completely implode. Okay, so we're going to need explosive barrels here for ammo. That's good enough. And then we're going to need a worker to attack. We're going to need dudes over here. Hold on, we'll get, um, so let's just say you have archers and arbalists, alchemists. Alchemists looks like clowns, cool. Alright, what do artificers look like? Vampires. I don't know what he had, what's the thing on top of his head? I don't even know. Vampires, cowboys, and clowns. Frankensteins. I think that's the, yep, Frankensteins. And pirates. And there you have it. There's everybody. Cruise all together. Alright, you guys just get up on the wall. Random spots. We're gonna blow it up with you up here. It's nothing against you guys, but... You know, we're, we're gonna see some stuff here happen. And you can put you guys up here. Yeah, sure. There you go. So you have your uh, melee guys on the ground. Archers on the wall. This is what I should have done, but I was dumb about it. I didn't have my guys where they should have been on the wall and uh, in front of the wall. 
Oh well, you live and you learn, you know? Okay, so we have a small army getting ready there. One catapult, let's see what happens. You, Io. Load it up. Put the thingy on the thingy. Um, okay, then we're going to need to set target. First, we'll hit the troops. Fire. See, so it's so, they're so dumb at catapults. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should put the door down first. Here it goes. Got it. There he goes. He missed. Almost. That guy got destroyed. Zamboni. He's the only one that died. And by that time, they would have noticed, oh no, we're being sieged. Time to bring our guys back in. <laughs> this is just one of the possible scenarios that could have happened on this map. Yet yeah, no one used any explosives. That's what I was going to do. That's why I had my two alchemist guys. Um, I was going to go blow up Luke's wall and just charge in. But he attacked me before I could attack him. Okay, now we're going to aim at the door. They're like, brace for impact. Wait, can I not make that thing go that far? I hate you, Io, so much. Oh, I can barely get it. Idiot. I don't know why they walk away from the thing. That's so annoying. They just walk away. They don't even reset it. They just walk away. Catapults are weird in the update. Ever since they made them different. Ever since the game was released, the main release. He's not going to fire it. He's not firing it. Fire at will. Go. <laughs> Such a pain. Now, he used to go and uh, put up a new one. That was a good attack. There goes the cowboy guy. Okay, so that's a damaged wall. Look, he's just... You know what? I think I might get three more and just completely shell the city. City? New task, build. Um, new task. Not new task. New task. Build. It. He's going to walk away again. Little idiot. Get another one here, another one here. You know what I could do? Yeah! Go ahead, walk away, dum-dum. Hey, and these guys actually spawn on the bridge now, and not down on the ground. You go here, you go here, you go here. I missed that one. Oh, it was another direct hit. Alright, you clowns. There, there, and there. This is how you do it. You have to tell him not to do anything. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Aim for the main gate. The only problem is I can't hit the main building either. I kind of wanted to hit that building sometimes. All right. No big deal. So you guys will now fire at will. I wonder if they'll do it. He's trying. I think it's because I have them set to don't do anything. Oh, never mind. It's not a fix. It is not a fix. Yeah, catapults are still weird. Auto mode. Auto mode. Auto mode. Nothing to... No, you... <laughs> See? Catapults are dumb. Wait, lodge. Was he running all the way to take care of these catapults? I think Lodge was doing that. There they go. It's a pain, but we got there eventually. Kaboom. Oh, that's going to be a good one right in the door. Door's gone. The only problem is if they had another door there, that'd still be up. Why isn't this other catapult firing? I hate you all so much. This is why alchemists are way better for, uh, testing stuff. Okay, here we go. Shoot at. Can't aim. Ready for this? Shoot at. They're gonna blow themselves up. There they go. Okay. So, yeah, that's what a siege would look like. It's so painful. It's so painfully slow. You know, I'm just gonna play with bombs now. What if I, uh, okay, what if I, no, because I still need something to shoot at. You know what, guys, just attack this thing. 
Kaboom! Yeah, now they're out of ammo. Just about. Most of them are. This guy's not. Yep, only one of them. That's the problem with the bomb guys. They run out of ammo too quickly. So this is what we need to do. You ready for this? I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. Structures, explosions. Let's see what happens here. I don't know what's going to happen here. Hey, I might crash the map. That would be a great way to end this video. Crash everything. It's raining explosive barrels. Someone decided to store all their explosive barrels inside here. I wonder what could possibly go wrong. <laughs> oh boy. Is that enough? I don't know if that's enough. It might not be enough. Let's see if this is enough. Alright, that should probably do it. Here goes nothing. Everybody get ready for this. You. Detonate. Gonzo. Thought run. Here goes the chain reaction. And zero frames. <laughs> Ending the series with a bang. Possibly a game crash. Hold on was a lot of explosives. Not only was it a lot of explosives, but you have all the wood as well. Uh-oh. I think it might... I think we might be done here. Ah! <laughs> uh, I wanted to see it go boom. There's too many. Too many bombs. Oh, well. Hold on. I'll give it a little more time. Whoop! Oh, that's new. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! in all of its slideshow glory. Wow. That's amazing. Even though it's like two frames, not even two frames a second. It's like one frame every three seconds. Whoa. The entire thing just got obliterated. Even some of the wall did in the back and the sides. See, that'd be cool if Bricktrons would get hit by bricks, they'd die. Because all those Bricktrons will be dead. I think a lot of them got hit by explosives. Yeah, look at all of them that did die. But the ones along the wall are fine. <laughs> okay, that was worth it. That was totally worth it. I actually did think the game was going to crash there. I'm surprised it didn't. There's just a little bit of the fort left. One little corner. There are bricks everywhere. I think they're still settling too, but things are getting a little bit better. Just a little bit better. And you make it daytime again. Alright. I kind of want to wait until everything settles though before I click too much. Oh, it's getting quicker. Things have stopped falling. Debug menu. Pause daytime. Whoa, what even? It went from like bright to weird. Alright, I guess this is daytime. Look at this. Oop, wrong button. Look how far the bricks went. Let's see if they reach the castle. They're on the bridge. They reached the other castle. They re <gasps> look how far they went. They went off this side of the map. They reached the resource line of wow. That's insane. And just I still have like zero frames just based on uh not zero three. Based on just all the random bricks around. Alright, let's just delete everything and see what happens. We can see what's left. That's so cool. And there you have it. That's all that's left of that structure. And there's still, still some barrels that didn't even go off because they were out of the range of the explosives. Wow, that's crazy. What else can I blow up? I don't know, I need to end this video, but uh... Let's see what happens if we just... I'm having fun! Let's pile a bunch of explosives over here and see what happens.
Just be like, oh yeah, we're gonna do a massive attack on this wall. Not as big. Can I detonate these things or do I need a brick trying to do it? Yeah, I need a brick trying to do it. Uh, effort. Not what I wanted. I want debug. I want it. Let's go with you. The cowboy. The root and toot and cowboy named Tango. Get it. Is Tango gonna die here? Tango. Did that crash my game? Are you kidding me? That crashed my game. Well, there you have it. How did that crash my game and the first one didn't? Or first and second one didn't. The second one was insane. The second one should have crashed my game, but didn't. Yet this one does. I have the blue little loading symbol as my mouse right now. Okay, anyway, I don't know if there's still footage on the screen right now, but I'm going to end this one here. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like how the map should have gone. Um, eventually, I will get this to the Steam Workshop. I don't know how long it's going to take. Eventually, I'll make single player, and then I'll do a series in that probably. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, share the video if you enjoyed. That helped it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.